Hear me now, YouTube world. We are back and we are on the Death Road location with Phil. Here he is with his nice new birthday present t-shirt on. Yes, very nice, I've got mine on. And we are on the Death Road, which last time I came on here, I killed my Limitless. So obviously I'm really happy to be here. Phil has done something different to his. What have you done, Phil? I've done many, many, many things actually. Um, so first thing is I've set the ride out uh, with bin the droop screws off and used proper spaces in the shocks. James McCoy style. Yeah, and it works lovely. Uh, and then I have, put all this rubbish off. I have gone uh, full scorch carbon, which is absolutely lovely. Nice, have you um, not seen it since that went on? No. All oh, right. I haven't, I haven't driven it since then. Oh, good God. Um, then a new splitter with titanium screws. Um, I have done, similar to what Andy's done, I've done all the scorched bits and pieces in the back and front. Um, and obviously, big thanks to Mike at Onyx for sorting me out. It is now um, AS. So, um, as you know, when I was running it last time, it was just on 6S with a mismatch of batteries, just a Spectrum on an Onyx, and it did quite well. So I've actually down-geared it, uh, but it's running 8S, and I'm extremely worried and nervous. Um, it's uh, it's going to be feisty, mate, I reckon. Yes. So. And I've got the same as I had pretty much when I came out last time, 6S. Um, yeah, so I'm extremely nervous, because last time I smashed this up when I came down here, so we'll see what goes down. Pants filling time. Okay. Andy's having a little practice run. We're not doing anything too silly to start with. That is going in a poker straight line, mate, that is. Nice clean run. Andrew. Yep. 103. It's not bad for a first one, mate. Okay, Andy, second run. Eight kilometres away. The silver bullet. Okay, sorry, mate. Hold on. Nine. 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 Better, mate. Andy, third run. Okay, and then again. Oh, oh he's tied, he's tied the PB. Damn it! <laughs> oh. Chasing it, mate. It's this road. It brings out the worst in people. That was 113. Tied my PB. God damn it! And now Phil is going to have a quick run. Uh, far up the beast. AS. Master. Slave one. Slave. Slave. Right, so, be brave, Phil. Be brave. What poo coming out again, Andy? This road is um, it's still... Character, it's character building. It's character building, as Phil says. There's definitely... There have been a few cars coming up and down, but we're lucky so far. Unfortunately, all the way up this end, up round the corner, they've been doing a major bit of road renovation, and the road's been sort of partially shut because there is a turning on the left a bit further up so you can get through but there's hardly any vehicles coming down unfortunately that ends the end of this week so that means this road will be pretty much out the picture for us which in my mind is a good thing in Phil's 
not because well, he loves it here. Depends how to value value. He loves the pressure of destroying <laughs> something that's worth almost as much as his house. Yeah. Phil doing a few um, tests I'm passes, not. just trying to get it straight. The, the, the actual genuine fear in the man's eyes. I might turn them front shocks down a bit. I don't know. They're like so yeah. down. It's going to get. It's going to sit lower then. It's just bumpy. I don't want it to rilalo. Oh, oh my god, freak out. I've got literally 74 percent Well, I'll have a little one. Okay, Phil, Phil's going to do it. Hang on, wait, there's people there, mate. Where? In their driveway. Oh, right. Let's just not do it yet, because you don't want to you know, annoy people. Don't. That's, doesn't a... seem as bad, does it? No, it doesn't seem as bad. You might be rattling about just because the tape, tape's not right. Having a bit of a nightmare with Phil's at the moment. We've had that. That doesn't seem too bad. That seems bad. Yeah. So we had perfect car springs on the front and wound them right down. So they were so hard. That's it. Go off road, mate. Um, they were so hard. It was just bouncing. And obviously he's got Rilalo fear to the bounce and flip and do something mental. Big so, Rilalo fear. Um, we sort of wound them, wound them off a little bit. And they seem a little bit better. But it's ridiculously low on the front. Didn't honestly did not look that low on the fucking. Uh... So the problem, the problem with this is, is like normally James McCoy he does these like double spacers in the shocks to lower it so they don't use droops, but then you move it in one on the shock tower. But Phil can't do this because he's got the rod for the servo passing through. So um, potentially maybe take a spacer out, might lift it up a touch, um, or put the old springs back on it. The sparks off of it. Right, so are we going to have just a little... We'll probably have a little one. We're going to try a little one. It's just going to be the end of it. Anyway. I'm going to stand off the road. Oh. Just for safety. I wouldn't stand near anything. I this think... It's going to be a really little one. I might see if I can quickly catch a bus to a different county. Just seeing what the field is on. Oh, car. It's got no brakes. Why hasn't it got brakes? Why are you driving in front of the car? Oh my God, mate. Man, that was all a little bit hectic, learn a driver. And Phil was almost driving in front of the learner. I think it sketched them out massively. Luckily, when you do your test to, park, to get your driving license, you don't have, um, ASRC cars weaving in front of you. So that's probably a good test for her. It might set her up for a, you know, a good pass in the future. Well done, Phil. Teaching the young people of England better driving skills. I'm having some teething issues. Oh my God. It's definitely on nothing. It's definitely low now. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, Phil's been having some issues. Worked out what it was. It was something to do with the MT-12 receiver. Something to do with mixers and stuff like that. The only mixers I know are like vodka and whiskey. So I don't really know what he's talking about. But I mean, this oh, is oh. obviously not going to be fast. 100 mile an hour. Yeah. And that was literally... What, what a, a 140th of a... Well, it's, only, it's only set to 75% anyway. Yeah. And that would have got up to maybe i don't know on oh, i don't know mate phil's going again oh phil oh, that's a big one. Oh my god mate that's literally gone through the hedge Oh, shish kebabs. That was the biggest crash I've ever seen from you, anyway. Shit, man. There's the shell. Where? In the hedge. Oh, is it not part of it anymore? No. Oh. Okay. There's a wing. Oh, fucking hell, mate.
do that. Have you got it? Jesus. It's fine. Right, that's just pulled out of there. That's why that's not working. Right, let's turn it all. That's turned off. That's why. Okay, so that needs some attention. <laughs> so that needs off. some attention. Yeah, um, hang on. I've got your split. I've got your splitter there. You have? Splitter's there. Oh, the batteries are all right. Batteries are fine. ESC's fine. Motors yeah. are fine. Uh, I've been stunned. Okay. Let's have a look for the other bit. I can't believe that literally went through this hedge. It wouldn't steer. It wouldn't steer, mate. It was too, um, too bumpy. Crap. Phil's had an absolute wipeout. Bit of an off. Uh, so, right, this is just an example of where it first hit is here. And then <laughs> we'll just walk up to where we found the shell. Still going. Still going. Still going. And then there's some damage down here where it's hit and through here. And then the shell was there in that bush. And then the actual car was down here in a ditch. Good God, man. So as you could imagine, that's kind of put me off. Um, so I'm going to stick with my 113 and not kill my car. Peace out, everyone. 400 subscribers now. Thanks so much for watching um, and just seeing what stupid people do with RC cars. Anyway, take care.